Viewers and listeners, welcome back to JCTV Africa, where we bring you updates and everything that is happening on the political space. Today, we are back with Singer Zochabang. And it was on this interview where he was asked a question about what he think about the death of Afmani Masaya. And he started ranting. Uh, talk of somebody that goes around ranting, it's uh, Singer Zochabang. But one thing that I also picked up on his uh, address he is very very emotional and he cannot calm himself down and he cannot uh, present his points in a in a very well articulated manner uh he was then asked a question by zenzel and Debele, and thank you zenzel and Debele, for this interview he was then asked a question by zenzel and Debele, which was very critical question and this is what he was asked uh. And we are not going to stand and we are going to investigate who spearheaded this, this, this uh, who was behind the pullout of parliament. And if we seriously see that there was an individual, because in every setup, my brother, there is always an individual who is, who, who is pushing this kind of an agenda. And we, I have got no doubt we will deal with that person as an individual. We, we, we can't, we can't. We can't cause an anarchy, a, 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 a opposition a, in Zimbabwe should perform like an opposition in the United Kingdom. My, my fear, uh, Comrade SG, is that you are slowly uh, becoming everything. Uh, the SG, uh, the treasurer. The, the the chair of the disciplinary you the, what you are fighting you are slowly becoming because you are now making decisions on your own that you are going to discipline everyone no 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 I'm saying everything if the S secretary general I am the engine I say can you please investigate this I write to relevant authorities this did you hear what he just said he said I am the engine engine for who for triple C so what about Shamisa? This is not an order. Uh, I'm not saying I'm the treasure uh, on, on that aspect. I'm saying uh, as I write to the Speaker of Parliament, it is not the treasure who writes to the Speaker of Parliament. Now, you can clearly see that Senge Zuchabangu, he realized that that was an error. And when he was now responding, he was trying to calm himself down. But... The truth of the matter is saying as a if they say he's a tortoise on a lamp post, yes, he is. Uh, he's somebody that has been placed there to make sure that he confused the opposition. And this has been happening. I've said in my previous videos that this has been happening in between elections. There is always confusion in the opposition about leadership. And one way to cure this is to have a strong opposition. A strong opposition that does not have those structures that can be infiltrated. Close all the loopholes. Do not listen to false intelligence. Always, always be on guard. But this is my my my, my thinking that uh Senges Chabangu needs to be stopped. Triple C, they I don't think they are doing enough to stop Senges Chabangu. They are just being proud of too much and they are receiving false intelligence and that's the reason why the party is being decimated there is a lot of pride going on and also false intelligence that they are receiving which is tantamount to the destruction of the party i saw a gentleman uh tino Mambe saying that it is good for us to dump this party it is infiltrated and we start again i want to concur with him it would be good to start right now and push uh, all the agendas that you need to push, whether it is a reform or anything. Pull out everyone in parliament, start a new thing, and start that whole thing with structures and legal frameworks in place that cannot be exploited by any court. Because what is happening here, this thing of not having a president, not having a secretary general, not having everything, it is the reason why you then have these loopholes being infiltrated. But what do you make of Senghaz Shabangu's submissions? And thank you to my brother, Zenzel Ndebele, uh, for bringing out this interview.